Hey guys, it's Rob Ford here from Betway, and we've just seen me review my demo with Tabson and Dude. And now it's time to learn some grenades and utility from the best support player in the world. Tizian, so mate, how are you doing? I'm doing great, how about you? I, I'm doing good. Before before we start though, I want to show you a few of my professional nades that I used to use back in the day. Um, and also I, I want to teach you these because um, the, the one match I have on HL TV was actually against you mm -hmm. and I had a higher rating on, on Cobblestone. Yeah, uh, I know yeah. this is Mirage, but you know, there's a few a few lessons that I think I could give you Tizzy and even though, you know, like I said, you are the best support player in the world. Um, I'm hoping I can, you know, give you a few lessons here. So Tizian, before you show me your, your master smokes, mm -hmm. uh, if you spectate me, I want to show you just one combination on uh, the, okay. the A site you can do. Um, so everybody smokes upstairs from back here, but I prefer to do it from, from in front of this pole. So you just go straight into the pole, mm -hmm. um, you take out your smoke, and then um, again, a really very strange lineup. So. Whoever's spectating this, you need to probably just like find your own sort of lineup because I line it up with, again, the edge of the smoke grenade on the edge of the texture of the map. So this should land on stairs. And then if you have a Molotov, you can basically just look straight down, roughly the same height as this in the same position and s Molotov sandwich. And now we fly over and see it worked. Nice one. I, I was actually very nervous when I flew over and walked there. So just to upgrade, upgrade your executes, um, again, it's one less uh, position for your guys running out of A main to check. Uh, and you can combine that obviously with, if you know the lineup, which I'm sure you'll show me in a second for there. Mm -hmm. And you also know a lineup for for here, if you have full utility, you can do that, that, and that, and then boom, all you've got to check is a mm -hmm. few angles and balcony and a few angles and sight and stuff. Yeah, if but... you want, we can just ex create a, uh, execute right now if you want. Yeah, shall we? Can we can we create it with my my two uh, Molotovs and Smokes and you add your own two as well? Of course, of course. Two, one, go. I'm gonna muddy the firebox on. Mollying. I'm flashing close for teammates. The firebox. And then I'm going out. Flashing for you. Flashing jungle. I've got an ace, I've got an ace. Sick. And that is how you win the round. But Tizit, you've got way better grenades than this. So why don't I spectate and then you show me some of the key grenades uh, that you need to need to know. Okay, okay. First of all, a top mid smoke might be a good start. Yes, let's start with the top mid smoke. I like to always jump on this barrel and uh, just um, aim on the second line of the antenna. Good top mid smoke with a small gap to the right. Yeah, Always very nice. Close to the boxes. Then I got one more from here, just in this corner, and where the antenna meets the hits the cable. So you can like smoke it from here when you have a spawn from here, or yep. you can just smoke it from here, so it's a little bit faster. Um, do you just want to go through some T spawn smokes fast? Yeah, go on. What yeah, about we'll just... a window one? A window, yeah. This here, you go just against the trash can. I just always peek like above this little window, like in the middle of it. Yep. And I will press D and then jump throw. But you have to like walk a little bit. D, jump throw. See so a little a little walk, um, and then I should land straight in the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very okay. nice. Now I'll show you uh, like a combination. One guy could do the top mid smoke, another guy could go into this corner here. And I put my grenade head, like this um, round little thingy, I yep. put it up on here. Like I go up this door towards here. Maybe you can yep. see it now. Yeah, Just I think jump got it. And that's going... And then you have like a B split smokes. Then somebody just needs to smoke window as well. Would would be better to Molotov window and then... Um, or, the or thing is you can peek behind the that's Molotov. Quite a few. Yeah, and true. Very true. But anyways, you're like very committed, so I think it's fine to use uh, the the three smokes. Because anyways, the round will decide directly. You don't really need to uh, save grenades. Can you can you smoke off short from uh, T-spawn? Yes. I like, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, the, you mean like, um, this? Yeah? yeah, 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 yeah. I can't remember the oh. name. Cabal, maybe. So you just cool. go into this corner here, close to AEPS. 
and to the on the big dots next to the top right of the window and just jump there then you get yourself a cool short smoke so we have now top mid window short what about a top connector can you do that from um spawn as well okay so you basically go on this side of the trash can um aim on the second spike and you release when you hit like this line yeah and jump down very nice okay and now what would be useful as well is combining a few of these smokes so let's say we're, we're gonna go for a uh, we're gonna go up short fast mm -hmm. um so like, let's what, what let's, I throw, like let's throw yeah okay you tell me what you would do if, if it's mm. a fast um like it's what i like to call and face it you know and it, it always works so i think it's a good call for you guys so one guy smokes top mid, one guy does my little short smoke here with jump throw, one guy does window smoke. Um, the guy with the best spawn just runs top mid, gets a mid flash, at Molly's gone by the way, and he will get this mid flash, everybody's using this, you just go against this uh, pole here, and you could go this dot to this line. Mm -hmm. And then before you hit this little stair thingy, you just jump jump throw. It's gonna be this flash. This flash blinds the window and the, the con peekers. Nice. So you're gonna strafe with that flash. The guy who did that flash just runs towards B. So you're top mid, you just receive that flash. Smoke tier and tier and window. You go here and you full rush short, just mm -hmm. look into the wall, and um, one of your mates is going to be behind you, he's just going to flash con two times like this, in your back, so the short peeker and the con guy will be blind, and you just full rush, and you win the round. Well, what's always good to do is this little combination, that you just run, against, uh, run and throw it against this wall, a molly car, so this guy on car is a little bit pressured, and the guy on okay. short might not be going short because oh shit, there's somebody B. Yeah, I will turn around and then Rob is from behind and kills him. Easy peasy. Then you have like a back smoke um, towards like kitchen and backside. A bit of a one way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay, yeah, most that, of the time really like, handy. catch the rotator. I can give you like one very cool jungle smoke actually. You just go on this here and just aim in the middle of the sun. Mm -hmm. That's a cool smoke. Um, I got these two smokes. This is Top Gun, you just go in this corner here. Oh. And in the middle of this antenna. This is Top Gun. And if you go into this corner here and top right of the window it should be jungle. Very nice. Yes. One, one, one that everybody misses actually. You remind me is the CT smoke uh, from A ramp. Oh, oh. I actually, is, is. I stopped using the smoke at all because you have to like um, hit it perfectly on. I cannot right click. What's uh, what's better than that then? Um, not smoking CT at all. It's better. Really? Yeah, yeah. Because the CT is just gonna. Always use the advantage and jump on here. The flashes and you can yeah. time you really good. It's, it's, um, it's actually quite quite nice when people um, smoke CT off when you're yeah, playing right. CT. <laughs> yeah, right. And if they don't smoke CT, most of the time they're just chilling here. We call this uh, IZ handling in mm -hmm. our team. And he will just uh, smoke himself like this and just uh, play on his back smoke. If, if he's opening CT, then leaving it open is a bit risky isn't it or do you do you go for a mollo or how would you counter that if you're not going to smoke it off um we counter that for example with uh, our defaults be like uh, a tower here and like kill him ct or we just pop abs a lot of times like most of the time when when we default we realize how what setup they should have on a mm -hmm. and we are uh, most of the time when we play execute really sure that he's not ct and if he's ct um we're just gonna we know that he's not going to catch us because we have good flash timings. 
Okay, and then lastly, T side, I think some helpful ones would be just on, on B side. I know that's a, a tricky, a place that people have a lot of uh, struggles with. Like uh, just when it's supposed to be or? Yeah, maybe maybe uh, the most important ones would be the window, the door of uh, kitchen, and the two short pillar smokes. They're usually quite okay. Okay. So I got this smoke here. This should be for the window, I guess. Yes. Very easy. You just go into this corner here, on the uh, edge of the roof. Mm -hmm. And is that a jump throw? It, that's a jump throw. Yeah. 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 Also, one more window smoke, which I prefer. Prefer. It's like I go on this edge here, and I aim with the, um, mm -hmm. what, what do you call it? Tilted? Uh, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Tilted. I can't think of the word. <laughs> <laughs> you just aim into this corner here. You can just stop the video and look at it. Yeah, and jump though, and then you can directly flash like this. Yeah, that's It's nice. going to be the perfect uh, over B flash. It's going to blend everybody who's standing here, who's holding here. Okay, so we got these smokes. You can also use, like, if you go into this first corner mm -hmm. again and pick on the top left of the of the house, you're gonna fade it. But if you aim more a little to the bit left. <laughs> more to the left, you actually hit it, and you have this short smoke. It's a little bit deeper. It's cool if he's always offensive. Short, mm -hmm. peek top mid. You can just do this smoke. On these these cut off there. Yeah. Okay, so the two smokes. I'm gonna show you the ones from T base first. It's um, first guy can just go to this corner, and you see there's like this big thing coming out here, like this mm -hmm. little bigger thing. I don't know how to explain <laughs> it. And you just aim into this gap above it, and jump though. Let me recheck it. Yeah, that's Perfect. the one. The other one is you. I just always just. Bam, just run against this pole here and on the like go up this line and to the edge of this um, top thingy. Quick quick question. Um, when would you use the outside of B ones? Would that be for a fake and then split A or would you would you, you use it and then still yeah, th those two there, like because you're doing it from outside of B which is quite far away, which I'm sure you could do it from the apps as well. This uh, is inside for of... like a for like a rush, for example, yeah. the press guy, very good top spawn can just Full rush, he will just come here, do this, molly car, rush against car, and kill the side guys. Yep. Then the second guy, and mm, like the fifth guy should smoke top mid or something. The second guy should flash him out, and like the just the two back spawns or something should just do the smokes, and uh, also rush later and just flash for him over. These are actually Sweet. pretty good timings. Like, it's most of the time for a very fast rush. What I like to do in face it also is that I do these smokes. One guy faking B, one guy of the smoke is flashing him out, and the rest of the team just goes A-ups. Mm -hmm. Most of the time he's going to be CT then, he's going to fall back towards CT. Or you hear him even rotating towards jungle and you can just kill him off guard. Um, what a lot of pro teams do is that they do these smokes delayed and swing out middle or go underground with these smokes and uh, yeah. boost window because the this guy is rotated away. always yeah he always needs to react so he's gonna leave middle or he's gonna whatever do short jump go here go underground whatever but he needs to do something and you always uh, pressure him into doing something if you do these smokes One, one other one that's really, really important would be uh, from AAPS. When AAPS is smoked, sorry, Palace, I always call it AAPS and it really annoys people. Um, so I'm sure I'm gonna get a few comments. Yeah, this one here, that's easy to do, Tizian. Everybody knows, everybody can do that, mate. So in that corner there. In that corner? On, yeah. And roughly there, yeah. Roughly, roughly there. <laughs> just walk until you hit the left side of this corner, not this corner, this corner. And just left dig it. Amazing. Nice. And I think you can also throw a uh, flash just like that as well. Mm -hmm. Should pl uh, always plant the default guy. Mm 
really easy DP ups one is this one. You just run it to this corner, stand up, and you aim basically in the middle of this um, thingy here. Just bam, jump throw. And that should also end hopefully. Yeah. It's a very easy DPF one. Very quick as well. I actually, I think I have like 10 of the DPF songs. I can show you all if you want them. <laughs> Maybe not all. <laughs> Maybe the easiest ones. Okay, this is one of the harder ones. You can also just do it while running because of the skybox there. Then you don't waste time on CT like... spawn. Actually, one time I searched like 1 million of these smokes because I was okay. also a little bit bored. You have okay. too much time on your hands. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, if you're holding B, let's say many people are taking mid control and you're like, oh, like you've been jumping the whole round, and nothing is coming like always. Then you just go back, you aim on this pole, run a little bit and jump though. It's gonna hit the back wall of BFs and it's gonna come deep and you can uh, just take the BFs. Would you think. combine that with a deep Molotov as well? Yes, I like to do it like this, that, that jump all the time. Water deep, smoke myself, then I just run, like right click, but my right click is not working right now. And, and then kill this deep. guy here. Yeah. yeah. What I like to do in the beginning of rounds is that I do the deep BF smolly. I have a little bit of a special one, I guess. I just uh, go here until I can see like the whole window. And I go this dot up uh, down to this, and just run and throw. It's gonna come very deep. And I like to throw this molotov and it's gonna smoke from me then mm -hmm. i go close most of them it's john behind me sometimes he's gonna flash me from here just deep into this left corner i'm just gonna kill this guy he had smoked from uh, one of the a guys mm -hmm. and i can always play with my re-smoke for example yeah. i can just chill here the whole round or i let them even believe that i'm here so they're gonna use a lot of utility and i'm just playing in the back with my he I was going to say that's that's the that's one of the biggest advantages of taking that uh, map so they control. Don't, they is don't that, know where you are. Like you yeah, and then to retake really it, it, they have to use a lot of utility yeah. and give away a lot of information and um, mm -hmm. and or dry peek it, which then you'll probably get the frag maybe one or two. Yeah. yeah. Um, or they might trade, but then Zantaris is you know maybe yeah. rotating in time because they're quite deep. So yeah. if people don't know the red red grenade ST, I think this position is the easiest multi clip position. Yes, because. It, this guy is so hard to check. I don't know why, but you just can't kill him. You're you're quite a you're quite a calm player. So I wanted to ask you what what sort of teams you prefer playing against, like you personally, because obviously you're very good at utility, um, and and like you're saying, you've got you, you're very calculated. I mean, it's all second nature to you now. Um, but yeah, do you prefer playing against like aggressive teams? Um, where you have to be quite reactive with your utility usage and maybe not have all the time in the world to line up stuff? Or do you like playing against like passive teams and then playing those sort of mind games like you were saying of the step and uh, making them retake map control? What's your what's your preference? It, it, it really depends. Like, um, for example, Astralis, I really like playing them because they play um, also very structured CS. You, most of the time, you know what they're doing, but they're doing it like on a world-class level, so it's still not easy to handle. For example, they had this um, B ending on overpass. They just smoked mid side and bridge. Was it mid side and bridge? I don't remember. But they just you always knew how they're gonna end. But it was still so hard because they will punish every single mistake you do. They um, put you under so much pressure that you will do a mistake. Um, yeah. That CS, I, I really like to play against. But for example, a uh, spirit who really pressures a lot in the beginning and like makes you believe they're gonna come fast and then they just wait the whole round and you don't really know where they are because you also couldn't take any infos and regressing is so hard because um, they just have the style where they, I yeah. don't know, one guy's just coming here doing the small guy Molotov but then he's just gonna wait the entire round over here and you're like, you can't really take any info and this yeah, I don't really like playing against, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I really like to play against like the old school top top teams like Astralis, uh, Vitality, mm -hmm. even Dignitas a little bit, like these teams. Yeah, but what I can show you is so the top mid smoke you mentioned. I just go into this corner here. Uh, I aim on the line here and I release when I hit this hay thingy, I guess. Mm -hmm. 
this. It should land like a little bit closer to here. Yeah, and you just have to molly behind it because the wall it used to be here and then the smoke would be perfect. Yeah. But now they change it a little bit and you can't take a perfect smoke. So you should just decide to full smoke one side and just molly the other. So and then just... su supporting you, you have a teammate flashing and stuff, right? Exactly, yeah. So the first guy is just going to drop out window. Molly here, anti-flash, probably he has a mate behind him. One guy is going to do the smoke, and one guy is going to start A and just directly flash this, this, it's like in their back. Yeah. Okay, great. And then finally, what about like getting a a ramp? Uh, like, do you have a deep smoke? Uh, I, ramp? Ramp, I can show you the gob move. The gob move? It, the, it was actually created by gob. He mollied like this, and I think the smoke was here. Yes, Limey. that was the smoke. Okay. It always fades like this, that's the smoke. Which is also a really good move, by the way. That um, if you start, you can just start jungle with your op. You just don't use any utility on A. You just go on default, your A guy. And you just flash like this into ramp. And your stairs guy, you can just directly pick with up. Yeah. Hold this. When he has this control, you can come closer. You will hear them AFs if they come close. And yeah. You, like, they can't kill your mate in, on stairs so fast, so you just decide to come close. You mod his left side if you want. If not, you can also just contact it sometimes. So you have this control, and you can, like, your op can focus on AFs or smoke it or whatever. What, what about some, um, uh, some counter utility when they're doing an execute? Or when you think they're executing? Uh, let's go like this, and then flash for yourself if you're by yourself yeah, or yeah. it's probably better for your teammate to flash you from CT or um, the, the or good jungle. thing is in, when you play whatever matchmaking face it or whatever that the people when they do a execute they always go here like, mm -hmm. it's also, also why you people always lose the a executes because they go here um, if they play like actually a pro team they will have like a good runway like for example here killing shadow or default or running yeah. under stairs and killing you here. Um, one, one other, uh, two other things actually I just want to mention before we round out the video is when, when you are doing executes and you're using utility like this, do you ever have to factor in a bit more who you're playing against? Because like, even, like you say, you want your entry fragger just to focus on like one or two areas mm -hmm. uh, and be able to wide swing and not have to like stutter and block each other and, mm -hmm. and prevent uh, and stop the trade frags happening. But when you're playing against a player like R, oh, even if you've molotov off here, and smoked off here. Mm -hmm. He's probably <laughs> he's, gonna he's probably going to do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's probably going to you know get aggressive somehow. He's, he's going to find a way. Um, mm -hmm. And if if you're if you're slightly delayed on the entry entrying and um, and Art does do like a little a little peek like that, what how, what do you do to prevent it? Like what, what's the what's the challenge there? Um, against teams like this, it's always good to play uh, like. Actually, just keep doing your own execute if you're confident in it, because you will punish this. These, these random peaks, these... Okay, I'm gonna go to that smoke here now and just kill ramp guys. Normally, you should, in a pro team, have um, players to, who should be taking care of that, you know? Yeah. So, I... Like, only if it's really big anti strat then, of course, we will do execute and just hold this guy when he's pushing to the smoke, because we know yeah. he's doing it every time. But I wouldn't really change anything. I would keep playing the same strat and just punish him if he does that. Because you also, maybe you can just take it a step slower and just um, um, play on them being reactive then. Yeah. yeah. And then last thing is, when is it good not to use utility and just play contact? Well, I, I had a rule actually, back in mouse parts. Yeah, man, I played for mouse. <laughs> um, that when we had Wait, what was it? Two and one? Yeah, like when you're... Let's say it's Rob and me against, I don't know, Art. We will not use utility if, if we don't know where he is. Because we don't. I don't want to get caught off guard and maybe sometimes we will take a clip out at the same time. So we just yeah. both say, okay, let's stick together. But let's keep a little bit of space between us so we can't get multi-killed. And uh, play Frag Refrag. Like yeah. Just don't use grenades if you don't know where he is because you... One guy is gonna get killed a lot of times in the F101. 
And and is and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but also playing playing um, contact uh, often is is quite a good way of. Um, for example, when you when you execute, they they're mm -hmm. gonna they're gonna counter it with their nades and mollos and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But if you play contact and you know they're not holding that position with an orb, you're yeah. likely to trade and you don't have to worry about uh, you know uh, having to be slowed down on the execute. You can just go contact yeah, exactly, and then exactly. throw use your utility afterwards so you can kind of walk mm -hmm. out here get the kill pause for a second and then smoke yeah, off and yeah, stuff yeah. like that so there's there's so many different ways of using utility is what i'm trying to explain here yeah we, we call this um in our team we call it dignitas style we, like we just gave it the name that um when we do for example our ax security that we threw earlier that the first guy he's just gonna swing with the smoke because a lot of teams will play the style that he sides Oh, smoke's coming, now I want to use my Molotov. And then he will get caught off guard. And that's on yeah. a lot of positions like this that they want to throw something if they see something. And you just uh, prevent that by uh, killing them with their grenades in hand. And, and how, okay, sorry, last question. Um, how yeah. often will you just use utility for the sake of baiting out their utility usage and getting rid of their utility? So when you do later execute, it makes it a bit easier. Like, for example, you mentioned Team Spirit do that um, by going aggressive mm -hmm. and um, putting a lot of pressure on. Is that something that you guys find favorable? Like, normally in, in the game, you, you realize if an enemy, um, if they just use equipment for taking time or if they actually try to save equipment and use it when you use, you use yours. And if they only use equipment when you use yours, you should, of course, play this explode style, what we talked about. Mm -hmm. But then you need to be careful of ops. Um, or, like, me personally, I would always bait out their full equipment. If, if I know that they, 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 they throw equipment when I use it, I would of course try to exploit them with this uh, explode stuff. And if not, I would just bait their equipment all the time until they have zero smokes and then have a good like mid-round call. Because they don't have grenades and it's really, really hard as CT if you don't have a good setup to, to hold sites without smokes. Yeah. Especially if you don't have info, because one one side is always going to have a disadvantage. Sweet, yeah, no, make, makes a lot of sense. Well, there there we go. I think I think we covered not only Mirage uh, smokes nade on both sides. I think we also covered a bit of hopefully a bit of theory at the end of when you can use your utility when it is good to use it when it is bad to to use it. So I certainly learn a lot of new lineups that I'm going to be taking into my, my face it games that I play once a month um, at the moment. But um, I'm going to yeah learn learn some lineups and um, yeah I think I think after all of these uh, training sessions I think I might be playing a game with some of the big players or I might be playing a game with some of the big staff or, or something. So hopefully I can take some of these things that you've taught me uh, into um, the the actual match if we if we play one. Okay, thank you, Tizian. I, I certainly learned a few things here, uh, and I'm sure the community did as well. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please do subscribe and, and give it a like.